Hi everyone. The creatures we're going to talk about today cause people the most ambiguous feelings. Some people get numb and terrified when they see them. Others are indifferent to them, and others simply adore them. If you've not guessed it, in today's video we're going to talk about snakes. Did you know that there are some extraordinary specimens of these reptiles that can blow your mind? So in today's video, we're going to tell you about the weirdest snakes on the planet, ones that you've hardly ever seen. Let's get it on. The snake you're seeing right now belongs to the genus of garter snakes, or ordinary ribbon snakes. They're small in size, only 50 to 80 centimeters in length. They feed on fish, frogs, and worms, and therefore do not pose any danger to humans. In total, there are about 30 kinds of garter snakes. But what is so unusual about them, you ask? The fact is that almost all garter snakes have a skin of brown or sand color, except for the California garter snake. The body of the reptile is covered in blue and red stripes that are so colored that the snake even got the nickname the Neon Snake. Because of this feature, many collectors desire to get this beauty, and the snake has a very small habitat. All these facts allow us to put it in the list of the most unusual snakes on the planet, right? If when you hear the phrase rainbow snake, you imagine a reptile whose skin is painted in the seven colors of the rainbow, well, Mother Nature hasn't had a chance to keep up with your imagination. The rainbow snake doesn't have a red head or a purple tail. Its color is actually black, sometimes reddish brown, and in this shade, it's the most common snake. The beauty of this reptile opens up to the full when the beams of light fall on its skin. It seems incredible, but the body of the rainbow snake has a holographic effect. The scales reflect light and shimmer with all the colors and shades of the rainbow. Just release it in the sun, and you'll see this snake is the most beautiful in the world. Texas is an American state that everyone associates with cowboys, westerns, saloons, and now you'll associate it with blue snakes. Yes, yes, it's here where you can find the unusual indigo snakes. To be fair, it should be noted that most of these indigo snakes have a black skin. Bright blue specimens are rare and therefore are very valuable. Biology has taught us that the brighter the snake, the more dangerous it is. But don't worry. For humans, indigo snakes are not dangerous. They feed on birds, lizards, frogs, and turtles. But there aren't many snakes of blue color. Most of the photos that you can find on the internet are just Photoshop. That's why it's so amazing to meet a real indigo snake in Texas. Sometimes nature comes up with very unusual surprises. The royal python is the favorite snake of breeders from all over the world, since it has rather large sizes. Adult individuals grow to a length of one and a half meters. They're not aggressive, and you probably see them at the zoo. There's nothing unusual in the coloring of these pythons. They have skin with brown spots and a white or cream-colored belly. And when this particular specimen was born, it was no different from the others. But the older this python became, the more bright in color it got. This continued until the reptile's skin acquired an extremely unusual black and white color, just like some Dalmatian snakes. Even the breeder doesn't understand how he managed to bring out such a snake. Supposedly, this is some kind of mutation, but in any case, the snake turned out very beautiful. Leucism is a natural mutation that makes the outer cover of animals to have no color. You've probably heard about albinism, when an animal or a person is born completely white. These mutations are really similar, but they do have the differences in the functioning of the cells. Leucism is characteristic for horses, lions, giraffes, peacocks, birds, and other animals. But as it turned out, snakes are born with it too. It's not very clear what causes such mutations, but the fact remains. White snakes look very impressive. For example, in this monocled cobra, the color the color of the skin is so bright that, in bright light, it seems almost lilac. Why is this so? Well, the fact is that because of the lack of pigment, the thin skin is almost transparent. The pink color of the muscles and tissues shine through the scales. Usually, monocled cobras have brown and dark gray colors, but this one was born very unusual. In general, snakes aren't born with leucism every day. It's actually very rare, but at least now you know they're real. For breeders, each such birth must be a big day. But why? Because the price of these specimens is sky high. 
So, for example, this white royal python was sold to its new owner for $1,000. Not a bad price for a natural mistake, right? But $1,000 for a snake is not actually that expensive. Watch the video to the end and you'll learn about even more expensive snakes. Leucism is not the only natural mistake on which breeders make big money. So, for example, this double-headed snake was sold at a price of a car. Surprisingly, the $50,000 reptile actually found itself a buyer. And, to be honest, a living two-headed snake is really amazing. In nature, individuals with a similar mutation don't survive. But in the terrarium, their lifespan is the same as in ordinary snakes. When a two-headed snake wants to drink, both heads are thirsty, and they drink at the same time. It's even more interesting to observe the feeding process because you need to feed each head separately. You may think that the heads are kind of sisters. This is true in some way, but their relationship is not sistery at all. Scarlet kingsnake eats mice, but the heads don't share food. If you put only one mouse in the terrarium, both heads will eat it at the same time, and eventually they will fight. That is why during feeding, two mice are lowered into the terrarium, one for each head. By the way, if one head finishes eating earlier than the other, it can try to take away the mouse from its neighbor, and after eating, the snake must be washed so that one head doesn't smell like the mouse from the other. In short, the process of feeding a two-headed snake is quite complex and requires a lot of attention from the breeder. We wonder if it's worth it, especially for that kind of money. Two-headed mutations also affect larger snakes. The python we're about to show you is still very small, but it will grow into a large, no less than a meter in length, two-headed snake. An x-ray shows that the baby has two hearts. It turns out that this is not even a two-headed snake, but rather two reptiles in the body of one. Such cases are so rare that specialists who saw a two-headed snake are considered to be lucky. On average, there's one two-headed mutation in a million. After what you've already seen in our video, you're unlikely to be surprised by an albino snake or another snake with two heads, right? But what if we showed you a two-headed albino snake? Yes, this is a combo. This Californian mountain king snake was born in Germany around 2008. Like other reptiles, this specimen is extremely rare. Its price is several thousands of euros. The unusual snakes we showed you before are the result of an accidental natural failure that could not have been predicted. However, there are unusual, rare snakes created thanks to years of complex, painstaking work. Justin Kobilka, a breeder who lives in Georgia, USA, displays snakes for sale, and he's incredibly successful in his business. The snake we're going to talk about looks as if it was made in Photoshop. However, no matter how fake it seems, it really exists. The absolute absolutely white body of the snake is covered with yellow spots, and not ordinary shapeless spots, but similar to a smiley face. Justin himself admits that this is the first and only snake that has had as many as three spots shaped like emojis. Snakes of the same color sell for $4,000 a piece, but the price of this rare, smiling specimen we don't dare to guess. This snake, brighter and more colored than any pumpkin, is also the result of the work of Justin Kobilka. At first sight, it looks like that other snake with emojis, and there is really a similarity. White skin, bright yellow spots. In fact, these are close relatives, decorated with different patterns by nature. Do you think the absence of smiles on the skin makes it less rare or unusual? Well, you wish. The breeder was engaged in crossing snakes for more than seven years. First, the individuals he bred did not have such pure color. Colors. The white was more like grey, and the yellow was more like brown. The breeder didn't give up, and now he sells his handsome, colorful snakes for three or four thousand dollars a piece. And here is another creation by Justin Kovalka. This specimen has a clean white and yellow coloring. The breeder admits that this is his favorite snake of all, bought in 2016. Because of the similarity of spots on the skin with the spots of a leopard, this snake is called the leopard python. You might have thought that the breeder we're talking about is engaged only in breeding white snakes with yellow spots. In fact, this isn't true. Over the years, he has managed to bring out a huge number of unusual snakes. Of course, we won't tell you about each and every one of them, but here is another incredibly interesting specimen. One glance at this individual is enough to understand why it's on our list. This snake has an absolutely white body and a brown head like it pulled on a white cloak, or vice versa, put on a brown hat. Impressive, isn't it?
Amazing gadgets, upcoming technologies, incredible inventions, and other cool stuff related to high tech on TechZone. Subscribe, you won't regret it. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.